Uh, yeah, g'day and welcome to this instructional video on how to grow grass. Um, this is a bit of a different video to kind of what I normally do, uh, but behind all the, you know, the weekly videos that I've been putting out, um, here at home, the thing that's taken up all my time, is we've been doing some landscaping things. I've been trying to be a part-time landscaper and trying to grow grass. Um, it's action-packed. Um, I started filming some bits and pieces. I've stuck those bits and pieces together and, and made this thingy. W whatever this is. It's long. Um, a lot of action. A lot of good dirt and grass. Uh, so if you're into this stuff, watch it. If not, all good. See you on another one. Cue how to grow grass video. This has been uh, kind of flattened off. We've been doing a bit of yard stuff. Yeah, everyone's been like, oh, why don't you get that rollout lawn or that like spray on? It costs a lot of money. Um, and I'm a bit of a, ch a cheapo, so just gonna be doing it by seed. Uh, if you're not into lawn porn videos, then go and find some funny cats. Otherwise, stick around. And in 30 days time, at the end of my big little video here, I'm happily frolicking about and I haven't gone mad. Uh, step one, I googled it and turns out first you need to make your soil nice and fluffy. That's what this thing is. I hired it. Um, it's a rotary hoe and it fluffs it up, makes it all fluffy. Hold on for dear life, you'll be right. And then just go around the yard. Yeah, stop for a second and read the instructions, but... Man, I see why... I see why people love doing this, you know, by, by hand and, and not getting the professionals in because it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. It's, it's real easy. I, don't know. I, I mean, I can feel my arms and hands. They haven't gone numb or anything, and I'm only a quarter way through. I feel great. This is this was such a good good idea we did. Uh, step two, what I'm trying to tell you here is, look, I've done the whole rotary hoe fluffing up the soil thing, but now it's exposed all these sticks and roots, and so cool. This was unexpected, but uh, if you can rope your kids into helping you, um, makes the job a lot easier. Oh, safety first, you know, chuck your gloves on. Make sure everyone's in the appropriate gumboots. Get the wife out there as well. And yeah, a bit of a family affair, picking up sticks and bits and it was going really well. And I do that. Pull, pull. Oh. Oh. And then I, I kind of got bored, so I just started raking way too early. 12 minutes in, all my helpers have gone. Cool. Three hours later. Right, check it out. We've raked it all a couple of times, pulling out bits and pieces. And now, I've seen something on the internet, on a YouTube channel. I've been watching a lot of lawn porn lately. Um, and I'm about to build it, and it's to help level this whole place. It's like a big one. This is too small. So I'm going to build a big one. Right, the lawn level of 3,000. So I'll slot two pavers in here on either side. And I can add more if needed for more weight. Got a bit of rope, and the idea is you pull it around and it'll level your lawn. Hey, I know you're impressed. I was too. Look at it. Look at it leveling the lawn. Didn't expect much, and look at it go. Yeah, flat, flat ish. Oh, it looks alright. Yeah, don't look too close. Before you lay the seed, your soil should be nice and moist. So, uh, cue watering shots. Um, and don't freak out, water restriction police. Um, this is all from a water bore. We have a water bore where we live. Okay, bore water. Thank you. All right, see ya. I bought a fancy, um, you know, spreader. You walk this thing around, it spreads it. But uh, out of the box, it's broken. The spring has cracked out of there. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Right, the sun is starting to set. I'm well behind schedule. Um, and just to explain, my mad rush here is because the weather forecast the following few days is high winds. So I was up against it to try and get this seed in and rolled in before it all got blown away. Um, I've marked out my rough maths on all the square meters of my seed and my fertilizers. So commence fertilizing and seeding. Yeah, nah, so it turns out that uh, fertilizer was too chunky for that trolley seeding machine thing. So I had to do it by hand. You should probably have a mask on kids and gloves and yeah, then started with the seeding and the kind of semi broken trolley thing. And yeah, well, so. Uh, so much good work. And uh, now it's turned into a bit of a shambles. That blooming spreader thing, cause it's not working. I'm definitely over way too much. Grass seed is going down. <laughs> And I can't really control that and I don't really have the time to go around and do it all by hand so I'm still using that spreader thing and I'm trying to run faster so but anyway 
uh, see you soon. Hopefully not when it's dark. Yeah, so here's me uh, as it's definitely getting dark. Yeah, it, it got it got dark real quick. So uh, raking in the in the dark. Just finished all the raking. Looking good though. Gonna get the roller now. Uh, roll it, then water it, and then wake up and be like, oh man, it looks bad. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Just want to go have some dinner and a beer. What? Just keep rolling. So yeah, plowed through with the rolling, got the whole place done, and and then yeah, you have the fun reminder at 11:45 p.m. that you also need to water all your seed. So this is me at 11:45 p.m. If it's something you've never done, like midnight watering, you should, you should give it a go. First day after. Oh, that fell over. Everywhere's a bomb. I haven't done this bit yet, but we we're focusing on this bit, alright people? Um, that's going to be a couple of vegetable patches, that's why there's stuff on there. May the grass growing commence. I've already been shooing birds, so today's project will be trying to figure out how to keep birds away. I think someone said balloons on sticks. Yeah, so a big thanks to my Instagram followers here for helping with the bird scaring ideas. Quick plug there for my Instagram. Uh, bunting flags. And everyone said get balloons on strings. I went with black balloons. Why? Because they look like black cats, don't they? Bird's eye view. There's four scary black cats. Now the madness of bird watching sets in. Yeah, well, so my black balloon cat idea sucked. Bird. Uh, birds, can you not see my amazing black cat balloons? Meow. <laughs> Uh, and then the next fun little thing we came across, even though the whole place was nice and flat to start with, was little divots and pooling, which apparently is bad. So you know how I said you kind of end up going crazy when growing grass? That's what's happened. That's what's happening. Prime example of me losing my mind was making this scarecrow that I thought was very believable. It scared nothing. Oh, and just quickly going back to the most important tip. Um, yeah, you need to water the seed like for that first week, like four times a day. That's a tip I got from a YouTuber called Lawn Tips. He's like a professional grass growing guy. Check him out. I'll link him below. Um, this sprinkler turned out was crap. So I got those fancy ones that oscillate back and forth. These sprinklers are great. Day six. We have signs of growth. Can you see that? Look, I did it. Look, there's little bits of, you can see the grass and the, ooh, exciting, isn't it? Hey? Eh? Grass. That's it. Grow, my pretties. Grow. <laughs> yeah, not much action here, just a whole lot of watering. Just keep on, keep on watering. So day nine, um, some good growth in places uh, but much like under here on my beard it's quite patchy yeah so i'm not really sure why it came up all patchy i mean if you look at it down like this it looks great but yeah patches everywhere um so did some googling and the guy from lawn tips well you know they suggested that you go over and reseed again but you've kind of seen all that process so we'll just fast forward through all this but yeah i basically god oh, okay we'll just stop and watch this for a bit quite mesmerizing isn't it um yeah so i bought one of these ones went around seeded got some soil and now i've got to flick the soil over the seed that's all right i think so kind of back to square one did all the soil stuff and then you kind of got to sweep that in with a bit of a broom went crazy ah, scared some oh, birds hey. Hey. and uh yeah just kept on watering ah. uh this is the nervous time where I'm not sure if these patches that I've reseeded are actually germinating. Yeah, so grass growing tension was pretty high here. This is uh, day six after the reseeding, and you can see, yeah, so patchy, patchy. This is day seventeen. Oh, hang on a second. Ooh, hooray! Um, we we had some signs of the patches germinating, and still, like 
Very thin. I mean, look at that. That is a balding man's head. Where's the rest of the seeds? What are you doing? What are they? Anyway, grass grains, real, real fun. It's real, it's real good time. Anyway, let's just fast forward. I just kept on watering and that's all you can really do. Day 25. The ups and downs of grass growing. I agree. This looks thick. It looks lush. We've done it. Uh, but no, this is just deceptive lawn growing. Uh, that's the original stuff, which has got too high. It's like over four inches. Google told me I should give it a mow at a high setting, and that won't affect the stuff that I'd reseeded. So it's quite an exciting time. Like, uh, let's check it out. Let's see. And You know those times when you've grown a beard, and you think, man, I might shave it. It could look good on me. And then you do it, and it's instant regret. It's kind of what it's like doing the first mow of a patchy grass, so... Patch, 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 patch. I think if we just stay down here for summer and look at it from down here, oh, look at that, lush. Um, catch up with you on day 30. So, yeah, day 31 today. And uh, it's been decided that... I'm gonna reseed again. That's right, you heard right. Uh, we decided to reseed again. So talking to a lot of people on Instagram, some people are saying, no, just leave it, it'll thicken up. Others saying, no, it won't, and you'll regret it in six years' time. So, uh, yeah, really quickly, did the whole seeding, did the sweeping, and... Ta-da! Look, we've, we've, we've done it. Thick, lush grass. The kids are allowed back on the lawn. We've got the trampoline back out here, the vegetable patches. Oh, I'm trying to be happy, but it's kind of... You don't really know how to feel. You know, the original plan was just seed it, seed it once, wait seven days, that would germinate, water it, done. Keep on watering away laughing. But as you know, we had to go three times. But as they say in the hand grass growing industry, third seeding's the charm. Um, if, if you've stuck around to the end, good on you. It's a bit of a different one. Uh, not looking to do any grass growing again anytime soon. So back to regular content from here. Although, I do have to, I do have to grow a bit of grass just there oh, and, and kind of down there and, and a, there is some around the house there so <laughs> uh, you, you kids good? You like, you like the grass? Yeah. Yeah? No, I did, Dad did it for you guys. 